Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on InDesign Paragraph Styles versus Character Styles. In this tutorial, we will be discussing the differences between the two types of styles and how to use them to create consistent formatting in your documents. Let's get started. What are Paragraph Styles and Character Styles? Paragraph styles and character styles are two types of styles that can be used to save and apply formatting to text in InDesign. Paragraph styles apply formatting to entire paragraphs, while character styles apply formatting to individual characters or words. When to use paragraph styles? Paragraph styles are a good choice of formatting text that has a consistent look and feel throughout the document. For example, you might use this paragraph style to format the body text paragraph of your document or the headings. To learn more about the paragraph styles, I have added the playlist link in the card above this video and in the description. When to use character styles? Character styles are good choice for formatting text that needs to be different from the surrounding text. For example, you might use a character style to format a quote or a piece of code. To learn more about character styles, the tutorial link is in the description. Creating Paragraph Styles To create a paragraph style, select the paragraph of text and then click on the Paragraph Styles panel. Click on the New Paragraph Style button and enter a name for your style. Then, you can choose the formatting options that you want to apply to the style. If you don't like any of your composed paragraph styles, you can always download from the internet and import those paragraph styles to your newer documents. If you want to learn how to import paragraph styles to your newer documents, the tutorial link is in the description. Creating Character Styles To create a character style, select a character or a word of text. And then click on Character Styles panel. Click on the New Character Style button and enter a name for your style. Then, you can choose the formatting options that you want to apply to the style. Anyways, you can always download the character styles from the internet and import them into Adobe InDesign. If you want to learn how to import the character styles in Adobe InDesign document, the tutorial link is in the description. Applying Styles once you have created a paragraph style or a character style, you can apply it to the text by selecting the text and then clicking on the style in the appropriate panel. For example, this is the text that you can see on your screen. To apply paragraph styles, you just need to place your cursor anywhere inside this paragraph and then open the paragraph styles panel and apply any style. So, the paragraph style will be applied to entire paragraph. However, this is not the case with character styles. Let's first remove this paragraph style by undoing the work. Open the character styles panel and choose any of the character styles. Bold, italic and underline etc. See, nothing happened. However, if I choose that specific word or character, then apply the character style. Let's say bold. Then only that selected part is affected rather than the entire paragraph. This is the most common difference between paragraph styles and character styles. Editing styles You can edit a paragraph style or character style by double clicking on it in the appropriate panel. This will open the style options dialog box, where you can make changes to the formatting options. However, there is a slight difference in the style options window. If you look both of the style options windows side by side, you will notice that the character style lacks many features as compared to paragraph styles window. Character styles window has nothing to do with indents and spacing. It is not even bothered by GREP style, hyphenation, justification, paragraph rules, borders and shadings. In fact, it's paragraph styles job to align the words properly. Overall, that doesn't mean that character styles are not powerful. In fact, Character styles can be used to format the text in a variety of ways and they can be used to create consistent formatting throughout the document. Deleting Styles To delete a paragraph style or a character style, select it in the appropriate panel and then click on the delete button. 
But keep in mind that after you deleted the paragraph style, you can feel the changes in the document layout very easily, especially when all the text is displaced improperly. However, always be careful when deleting the character styles. We never know which characters had been affected in the entire document. Conclusion In design, paragraph styles and character styles are a powerful way to create consistent formatting in your documents. By using these styles, you can save time and effort and ensure that your documents look professional. Thanks for watching this tutorial on InDesign Paragraph Styles vs Character Styles. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javadsumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javadsumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.